Hey everyone, this week's video is all about van life tips to keep you on the road longer. Make sure you're subscribed to Van Clan and let's get into it. So number one's tip is if you're getting into van life, choose a van that is popular and there's a lot of knowledge in it. That way when you have troubles down the road, there's a lot of spare parts available and they're at a cheaper cost. Uh, you can look up on the forums if someone has a similar issue and how to fix it. And that way you're actually getting a better bang for your buck when you first purchase the vehicle, just because there are a lot available and it's not as expensive. It seems kind of obvious, but it really is a big help when you're buying something that there is a lot of. Number two was actually featured in our other video, Van Life Hacks, and that is to mock up the interior of your van with cardboard. So if you're kind of getting a sense of what you want on the inside of your van and how you want it laid out, you can use some extra cardboard, obviously big pieces of cardboard, to kind of build out your cabinet, your counter, your seats, where your bed might be. That way you get a kind of a, a lay of the land for what it's gonna feel like in there. And you'll actually find you're gonna change a lot of things just by seeing what sizes uh, pieces are. So it's a big help and a big tip in van life. Number three is don't skimp on ventilation. Whether you're in a hot climate or a cold climate, you always need really good ventilation in a van. Um, a lot of smart people, they'll put two rooftop uh, fans on their van. So one over the bed and maybe one over the kitchen area. That way you can kind of circul uh, circulate air through them. We see them a lot. And that's the smart way to do it. Uh, in the winter, you do still need ventilation when you're heating your van, just to keep the windows from fogging up and it getting really moist on the inside and maybe rotting away some things like wood. And in the summer, obviously you need a lot of ventilation because when it's hot, it sucks being in a hot van and ventilating and putting a fan on really does help. Number four is pretty obvious too, but that's getting conversion insurance. Now, of course you can get insurance for a van um, where it's just covering the van, but the other thing you can do is cover your entire build. Now, if you built it yourself in some states or provinces, it is harder to actually ensure that. And it's a great tip because if anything ever happens, you do want to cover what you've got. Number five is budget the entire build. Now, whether you have a large budget or a small budget, money does creep up on you when you're buying stuff. Uh, things really add up. So if you can budget your entire build, uh, before you do your process, you'll have an idea of how much it costs. And obviously add a little bit extra in there for what you're not gonna account for, and it really does help out. Now I'm really curious to see what your guys' van life tip is, because I know there's some really inventive uh, van lifers out there, and I'd love to hear one that you've either heard or a tip that you use yourself. So make sure to comment below and let other people know, and it'll help them out. Number six, we talked a little bit about that with ventilation, and that is using a heater. Now, once again, whether you're in the desert or you're in a place that has uh, a huge change in seasonality, like here, obviously it's winter right now, uh, we have our heater running 24 seven. And uh, in our case, it's an S-Bar uh, diesel heater. It's a 2.2 kilowatt. It heats the van absolutely no problem, even when it's minus 30 degrees Celsius here. Um, so get yourself a heater, even on those uh, cold nights in the summer where it's a hot day and then a, a chilly night, there's sometimes you don't wanna just use a blanket, you need that little bit of extra warmth. So get yourself a heater, whatever that might be, diesel, gas, propane, uh, make sure you've got one and make sure you're, you're safe and smart with it. Number seven is use iOverlander. So that's an app where you can basically check where you can find dump stations, water fill up stations, gas, uh, sleeping spots. And these are all done uh, through crowdsourcing. So people who have seen the spots themselves, they'll update it. If someone else stayed there and said, no, you can't sleep here anymore, they closed it down, or this is still a great spot to sleep. All across the country, uh, it, it works really great. We use it every time we go out. So uh, make sure you check that one out. Number eight is wild camping or boondocking. And this is great because uh, it's free. You can go to federally owned land, whether you're in Canada or the US, and you can actually park up for quite a while uh, as per the law before you have to move a certain distance away. And there's some people who live like that all their lives. Um, and it's a great way to use public land. Obviously be responsible when you're staying. Uh, we don't want to give everyone a bad rap, but using public land is a great way to camp. Number nine, we kind of alluded to as well in our other video, Van Life Hacks, 
and that is using a DIY toilet. So in Van Life Hacks, we mentioned a pee funnel, which basically uh, does exactly what it sounds like. It funnels your pee outside. Uh, we talked a little bit about uh, why that's a good or a bad thing, but building a DIY toilet is a great thing to do because you save a lot of money. Um, you can either make it a composting toilet or a bag, and you can divert solids and liquids uh, for fairly cheap. So going a DIY route on a, a toilet is a, a big tip that we would say. Number 10 is a funny, really obvious one, but it doesn't happen all the time. And that's don't wear your shoes inside. Uh, there's a funny joke here in Canada where we always see people in the US wearing their shoes in the inside of their house. And it's very odd to us. We always take off our shoes when we enter the door uh, and walk into the house. So not wearing your shoes even in your van is a great way to keep the dirt down and you won't have to vacuum the floor or your bed as much. So pretty obvious one, but also a good tip. Number 11 is don't believe everything you see on Instagram. This goes for everyone. Um, people, yeah, I'm not gonna say much more about that. It's, it's, it's obvious, <laughs> just don't believe it all. And number 12 is travel off season. Um, a lot of van lifers are super smart and do this all already, but when you travel off season, there's a lot less people in the places you wanna go. There's a lot less traffic uh, during the times that you wanna go somewhere. So going off season somewhere is cheaper all around and honestly, a bit more enjoyable. And number 13's tip is unbreakable kitchenware. So obviously don't pack your glasses uh, unless you've got a really smart solution for traveling with them in your van. Uh, make sure you take uh, kitchenware that can take falls and bumps. And I can't tell you how many times you've taken a sharp corner and that latch on our kitchen cabinet has come loose and the dishes have gone everywhere across the van. Uh, but they survive because they're not glass, they're not porcelain or ceramic or whatever that may be. And uh, it really does save you a little bit of money as well. That's it for this week's video. Make sure you're subscribed to Van Clan. And if you missed our Van Life Hacks video, make sure you check it out there as well because there's some things that you might wanna use in your Van Life build or your everyday life. Uh, one of them, uh, funny enough, being the pee funnel, which is a great emergency situation to have. Uh, until next time, safe travels. See you later.